today we're going to be taking and doing some coin molds here put the eyes in and we're going to get this started so bear with me here get them all in go into the pouring station I'm going to pour each individual one I did heat this mold up before we started so this is me pouring as we go this is actually a bigger mold that I'm using it's actually a Collins custom mold um, I special order these from Collins customs they're out of Virginia you can find their merchandise on eBay um, they do great work probably some of the nicest molds you'll get don't mind my struggles when these molds heat up you gotta make sure to be careful when you put these eyes in you will burn your fingers very easily if you aren't wearing gloves so just so you know I've been pouring lead for a while now. I started out using the do it molds. The, the do it molds work really well. They're priced very, very well. Um, the big difference between the Collins custom molds and the do it molds, a lot of the do it, the do it molds don't offer a lot of the sizes or you have to buy three or four, maybe even five molds to replace one of the Collins customs. So. They, they seem like quite a bit more money, but in all reality, they're they're a lot more comparable than what a lot of people think, and they produce a lot nicer sinker. They actually mill the insides of them very smooth. The duets are kind of rough. You'll notice it on your pores on how, how how smooth the finish is when it's done. always kind of make sure to keep a I like to keep an organized space that way when you're when you're pouring you have the have the room to do it and like I said in the captions make sure make sure you keep a, a ventilated area it's always a always a good habit to do and keep up on finish these out here thanks for watching everybody if you guys want to see any other molds done any more casting of sinkers let me know in the comments below and we'll do some more sinkers and let you guys see how they're made thanks for watching everybody